The reef along Central Florida's coast is an exceptional ecosystem that many species depend on and hundreds of thousands of people enjoy each year. Growing up along this shoreline, our lives have revolved around this unique ecosystem and the many activity it provides to us. Some of the best fishing and surfing on all Florida's coast is produced from this reef's definitive structure and habitat it creates. The ecosystem is very unique and is named Federally Protected Fish Habitat. It is a full living reef that is created by Worm Reef, attaching and growing over the large coquina reef and provides a complete habitat for many species of turtles, fish, birds, and other creatures that thrive off the food and shelter the reef provides. The reef attracts many visitors that are intrigued by its beauty and the abundance of life it provides. This creates a perfect environment for kids to experience a hands-on learning adventure that is fun. Kids enjoy playing in the rocks and finding different crabs and other creatures that they have never seen before. Just recently, the Army Corps of Engineers released a final plan for the mid-reach segment of Brevard County from south into Patrick Air Force Base to the north and the Atlantic. The Army Corps of Engineers formulated a plan, they say, that will only bury a few acres of reef, but we all know how accurate the ACE is at predicting the outcome of their projects. After the dumping that occurred last time, we saw an immediate effect of dirtier water. It had a silty Mississippi River color to it that fogged the water as it settled over the live reef. We began to see the aftermath of the bad experiment, from thousands of dead stone crab floating onto the shore. The live worm reef became brittle, weak, and broke free from the Kukina reef, which we had never seen happen before. This took a tremendous toll on the reef which was crumbling into pieces and dying on the shoreline. As the dirt suffocated the reef, the waves changed, making it so shallow the whole wave would break at once, forming one big closeout. Surfing became more dangerous and unpredictable. It pushed us to surf other places further away from our local breaks, thus depleting the surf community. With the dirty water, it made it hard to fish. Snook, flounder, and pompano loved clear and clean water. For years after they dumped the dirt, the fishing satellite beach was not worth the effort, so we would fish other places like the inlet or in the lagoon. The effect from the last dumping is still noticeable. After a few days of windy conditions, the Mississippi River mud returns. As the dump trucks come back, our natural beach and live reef will go away. All the plants and animals that grow up in this precious ecosystem will leave or die. It's time for us to start embracing what we are fortunate to still have and save one of the most unique habitats and places along America's coastline. Please help us stop using our taxpayers' money to dump dirt on a special and irreplaceable reef. Write to the newspaper and also elected officials who make the decisions on how our federal, state, and local taxes are spent. Please join the Sebastian Inlet Surfrider chapter. Get involved and make a difference.